Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today, it's with great pride that I'm unboxing a brand new pair of headphones from Audio Technica. In fact, these headphones are the first to implement a direct digital drive technology, enabling these uh, Bluetooth or digital headphones to run a, a, a very, very new concept in the way uh, wireless and high-end uh, headphones can work. Okay, so let's have a quick look. Firstly, these are Audio-Technica's DSR7BTs. Uh, they are modelled after the hugely successful MSR7s. Uh, we've sold those and all of the colour options, all of those things for years, and they're great. Well, it's wonderful to see that they've taken that driver technology, that comfort and build, and produced for us a lovely modern headphone that features Bluetooth and uh, also um, the ability to stream from a computer. Okay, so looking at the product. Like many of the higher end headphones from uh, Audio Technica, they have a full color box. A beautiful glamour shot of the product on the front, along with a, a few of the key features. Uh, Bluetooth, um, the pure digital drive, this is the technology that uh, they use for uh, the digital to analog conversion in the headphone, and also high res audio. Uh, many people may be familiar with those badges with a number of other things, but it's wonderful to see that in a headphone at this price point. Um, looking at the edge, we have a look at some of the key features and uh, a basic uh, understanding of how this product operates, uh, some of the functions, that type of stuff. At the back, we've got um, a breakdown of the digital drive technology that they mention, uh, a couple of key features in multilingual, and um, how you get the high-res audio by plugging these in via a USB cable. Quite unlike most headphones, which would use the 3.5mm socket from the side of a laptop, this is going to be plugged in via USB, giving a much cleaner connection to the computer and giving this headphone the ability to do the high-res, very high-resolution files. Okay. Um, on the edge, this is all the specifications. This is about uh, impedance and connection, all of those things. It's, uh, you know, it's uh, difficult to read. Um, uh, lots of information, please, and it will be emulated in the manual, of course, as well. Okay, so opening these headphones. Simple pull tab at the back. Nice and easy. This is a presentation box, so it's uh, designed for retail. Um, so it's very straightforward as far as opening it, and then slipping out the inner box. So full colour, off it goes. This is a nice little um, case, it's designed to ensure that the headphones are protected well. And uh, as we dive in, the first thing that we see is the accessory pack that it has. So we'll have a look at that first. Opening the accessory pack is a simple enough way of doing things. We dump that out and have a look. We've got a huge manual. I mean, for the, for the headphones themselves, it's got a multilingual manual. Uh, this is about uh, the key features of the unit, how to tether it, how to get the best out of it, all of those types of things. There's a relatively plain but pretty good quality uh, pull tag bag. This is for basic storage and protection. And a really good quality USB cable. This one even has a ferrite core on it. Uh, obviously they have not scrimped on the quality of this. It's quite long, I would be surprised if it's not more than maybe two meters, even longer. So, more of the important stuff, the headphones themselves. As I remove this basic protective little layer, we get to see the headphone itself for the first time. It's sitting in this sort of silk-like uh, protection, and it's, um, it's molded to the headphone itself, so it's very firmly uh, in place. Okay, looking at the headphones, they've got an excellent cup, and the head pad and other things is what I would expect as I've seen, used this sort of design from the previously available MSR7. They've got an excellent build quality. They fold flat, so as far as storage and other things, very good, although it is only in one direction. They've got leatherette pads, uh, the joints and other things like that are excellent. The quality is very, very good. Uh, they're robust enough to give you a good sense of longevity as far as the quality, but uh, comfortable and soft enough that they're not going to be fatiguing on the ears or pressure clamping you. Okay, Looking at some of the key things uh, as we look at the headphone more specifically, we've got the basic switch here for Bluetooth on and off. Uh, we've got over the opposite side uh, the ability to control it with a touch and then the volume up and down. 
At the base of the headphone there is a cover that can be removed to allow you to uh, charge the headphone or directly couple this to the laptop as I suggested earlier via the USB. There are three lights at the side illuminating and telling you the basic features that are being utilized as well as indication of charge. Okay, so looking at these uh, headphones unboxed brilliantly here at the listening post in Christchurch we have the ATH DSR7 BTs the brand new Bluetooth headphones from Audio Technica unboxed here at the listening post Christchurch New Zealand thanks for watching if you want to see more subscribe to our channel